Shalom to the nation of Israel. First and foremost, before I get into my lesson, I want to start off by giving all praises unto Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka, Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders out of great millstone that teach and rule well today. And citation also to the fellow laborers that's in the ministry and the believers that scatter worldwide that's in the faith and exalt the names of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. In all truth and sincerity, day in and day out. Shalom. I'm the brother Shaquat Gabar from the Great Millstone, South Carolina Midlands Branch, coming at you with another lesson. And as always, before I get into my lessons, this message or these videos goes out to you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, which we are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites, according to the Bible. And also to the Israelite foreigners that scattered amongst the heathen nations and they may take on a typical look of another nation. But if your bloodline goes back to Negro, Latino or Native American descent by the seed of your father, you are considered an Israelite as well. Uh, so basically, as you can see, I have this article uh, queued up on the screen that I'm going to get into touching on this lesson. And basically, you know, uh, judgment, man. Okay, as we're in this, the time of who the world calls God, Yahweh, and his son, who the world calls Christ, Yahweh Shai, is bringing his wrath upon the earth, man. Okay, amongst all nations, man. Okay, and that's what you're starting to see, as you can see in this article. Okay, because who the world calls God and Christ, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, these people are going to soon find out that. They not just a power, just a love, okay? That the Most High and the Son controls the issue of life and death, man. And now we're in the time of the Lord uh, uh, um, bringing judgment by executing, by putting, you know, these demonic spirits on the left-hand side of the, of the Heavenly Father on these people to execute judgment on each other, okay? Like in this case, man. Okay, as you can see, once again, this article, and this right here happened right here, home base in something, where where us, you know, the GMS South Carolina Midlands branch, okay, usually teach here, okay, you know, in other, you know, places that we go to teach, but mainly here in something, okay, and this is right here is major news that, that, that came out, okay, and this is off of WIS.com. As you can see the the head uh, the head title, five people dead, including three children, after shooting in Sumter. Okay, and this was published March the twenty second, uh, twenty twenty three. Okay, so recently. Okay, and basically I'm gonna get into this article, but basically it all ties into um, jealousy of a man. Okay, and I'm gonna get that scripture. Okay, because it goes and you know that with this incident happened, you had an individual. Okay, and it doesn't give the the race. Okay, uh, 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 of the people. Okay, but we speculate. You know, me through the spirit speculate. It mostly probably been uh, Edomites, so called white white people. Okay, but these other nations are, are, are in that mind frame because this is known for Edomites to do this, man. Okay. But you have other nations at the time, at this time, is doing it as well, especially when it comes to Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man, okay, that evolve in situations such as this. Because we're in the time of Yahweh Bashim al Shai bringing judgment, even when it comes to uh, men, okay, taking out each other, okay. So, like I say, in this case, it was an individual, okay. Matter of fact, I'm gonna just go ahead and read the uh, article. This is um, Sumter, South Carolina, WIS. Three kids and two adults had died after a shooting at Sumter area home. The Sumter Police Department hosted a press conference Wednesday afternoon where Chief Russell um, F. Uh, Roark III said that the incident happened before 10.30 p.m. on Tuesday 
March the 21st at a white tail circle resident and appearing to be a domestic related shooting. Okay. And it says Roll Art said Charles Slacks Jr. killed the 30 year old male victim in the backyard of the house that went inside the home and allegedly shot the three children while they were in bed before taking his own life. Uh, so that's that's judgment, man. Okay, and that's the spirit that the Lord have out here, man. Okay, when it comes in the spirit of vengeance. Okay, and when it comes to these Christians, okay, that's saying that they uphold the Bible, but they don't know the real or true intent of uh, the power of Yahweh Shem Shah, the God of the Bible, as what we're preaching. Okay, that the Lord create uh, uh, life and death. Okay, the issues of life and death, man. Okay, so ultimately this is on uh, judgment, and it says, according to a court records obtained by WIS, Slacks separated from his ex-wife and mother of the children, uh, Alita Holiday, on June the first of twenty twenty two. So it goes back into basically a ex-husband. Okay executing three of the children and the men okay that was involved with you know being taken up with his own um, his ex-wife man okay and it says holiday submitted a divorce notice on february the 27th of 2023 early this month on march the 3rd the divorce was officially granted okay Okay, so, it, you know, like I say, y'all speculate because, you know, the, they didn't give that, I say this, they didn't give, give okay, the the um the relationship of the, of, the, of the woman and the man that got killed, okay, that the ex-husband killed, okay, but you can put two and two together and say that uh, ultimately that man that was put to death by the ex-husband probably been talking to uh, uh, the, the ex-wife, okay, okay, and then now she the decided to the uh, file for a divorce, and look what it led to, okay, of uh, the ex-husband putting that man to death, and the three children, man, okay, and this going heavily here in America when it comes to adulterers or adultery, okay. So let me continue on, and it says. And it says on court records stated Slacks and Holiday share two children. It is unclear whether the third child shot was Slacks. Sumter School District Superintendent Dr. Wim Wright released the statement following the loss of the three children. And it says Sumter School District is grieving the loss of three children, two siblings attending Millwood Elementary School, another sibling attending Alice Drive Middle School, our sincere condolence are, uh, are extended to the family. Okay, so, you know, you get the... Let me see how much left. Uh, so, basically, that's it, man. Okay? And like I say, it, it doesn't give the race or the ethnic, an ethnicity of, uh, you know, of the individuals. Okay, so it could have been, they could have been white, okay, Edomites, or possibly uh, uh, another nation, or possibly Negroes, Latinos, or Native Americans, or, you know, Israelites, man. But the details are here in this article that judgment went out, man, okay? Yes, the night, man, okay? That led to three children being shot, okay, by their supposedly, you know, their father due to the, the ex-wife filing divorce and the period to be like i say speculating you know the the individual that got killed in the process that man by the ex-husband most likely took up with the woman okay with his ex-wife man okay which is a form of uh, adultery man okay and cases like this is ramping up all throughout america man as you got um divorces at an all-time high okay alimony Okay, or uh, 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 cheating. Okay, women uh, uh, leaving their men 
to, to be with another man. Okay, and that's heavily here in America, man. But now you're starting to see the outcome, okay, of, of these men, okay, that 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 got dissed by their wives or their wife. Now they're taking their frustration out now, on, 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 on the woman, okay, the, 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 the partner that they took up with, the children. And in this case, it, it, uh, after the these these incidents, the 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 shooter check out himself, man. Okay, but somehow in some of these cases, the woman escaped. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get into the scriptures, and I'm gonna start off with the book of um, Leviticus, because this is law. Okay. And the, the word Leviticus means the law, okay? And, and this is Leviticus chapter 20, verse 10. And the man that committed adultery with another man's wife, even he that committed adultery with his neighbor wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall be put to death. Okay, so this is a biblical law, okay? But we know us that's in the faith, that's evolving, you know, the ministry, okay, believers, uh, you know, like I say, in the faith of Israel, okay, we know that when it comes to the law, statutes, commandments, that's not the standard here in America, okay? So when we hear, you know, example, like if a individual, like a um, brother have a woman that cheated on him, and we know according to the law that, you know, her and that adulterer, supposed to be put down, okay, we can't execute that law due to the standards of Esau, Edom, through this government of his laws, okay, which the scripture says that uh, there are unrighteous decrees in Isaiah chapter 10, starting at verse 1, okay, and Paul say that, okay, although the law is uh, um, perfect, but it's not a seedly, okay, because right now we're in captivity, man. So we're not justifying members of Great Millstone or individual that come against or come across, or so like come across uh, Israelite videos to go out there and, and, and put, forth, put forth the law of adultery, okay? It's simple as if we find out that our, our, our women cheat on us, it's simply just uh, the lever, man. Okay, because we're in the time that Esau, Edom, through this system, support and, and, and protect these women. And at the end of it, this system is dead set against men, but especially the Israelite men, the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, as we're in captivity. Okay, so you got Israelite camps out there saying that it's all about the law, the law, law, statutes, commandments. You're going to be justified by the law. But what about this law right here? Just in case this situation happened. Okay, that's why we are under grace, man. Okay, and we teach that we keep the laws to the best of our ability because we in captivity. Okay, and when the kingdom is established, once Yahweh shall return and, and establish the kingdom of Israel, the law is going to be justified and the law is going to be in our inward part. And the laws of uh, uh, adultery, the penalty of adultery, okay, is not going to be in effect in the kingdom when it comes to the Israelites, man. Because we're going to be all righteous, okay? Uh, the women that's going to be in the kingdom, kingdom of Israel going to be submitted to their one husband. They ain't going to be committing adultery or, or cheating, okay? Because they're going to be right, okay? And men ain't uh, Israel ain't going to have the mind frame of trying to uh, sneak and sleep with other Israelite men. I mean, other Israelite men and women, okay? Because all that's going to be righteous, man. But the laws is going to be forced on these heathen nations, okay? Because they're not going to have the laws, statutes, commandments in them, okay, which is the new covenant. Only Israel is going to attain that, okay? So when it comes to the law of adultery in the kingdom, that's not going to be happening amongst Israel, man. But here in this case, as we're in the captivity, we know that this law is scriptural, okay, but it's not acidity. Okay. Uh, so in that case, 
Okay, you see why? Uh, you know, let me get this. Because in that article, the man retaliate against his wife by putting the, the, the children to death in the individual that she been with uh, uh, of that other men. Okay? And the scriptures speak of jealousy as a rage of a man. Okay? Because a, a man, a, a, a real straight man that have a woman, okay, uh, um, he have real compassion uh, uh, for his woman. Okay, and that's why you see in such cases as this, when a woman stepped out, uh, uh, she, she commit adultery. Okay, they come to the point of retaliating or putting them to death, and those and those individuals, okay, that might be of that household or the or the man that she took up with, man. Okay, that's why this place have to go, cause America allowed and push adultery, to push the the liber, liberation of, of women. They can do whatever they want. They can be with whoever they want. In, in certain cases, the courts justify it, man. Okay? Now, in this case, the man, you know, put himself to death, those other individuals. And, you know, the, and the woman had to be, she going to live in t um, terror for the rest of her life. Okay? But now, you know, she, she's, you know, basically free. Okay? And, and, and trying to start life all over again. And she ain't going to be held accountable. In many cases such as that, uh, 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 what happened... Uh, concerning uh, uh, these women that get off scot-free. In some cases, the man, okay, that, that do it, he might go to jail, and you have another individual or the other man done in the grave, but the woman is free. Okay? <clears throat> Let me get this. Proverbs chapter 6, verse... Um, I'll start with verse... 32, and it says, but whoso committed adultery with the woman lack understanding, okay? Yeah, because, you know, like I said, that's push heavy here, man. Okay, that, through the music, through the movie, movies, entertainment, okay, especially amongst the, the black community or black culture, what we call it, amongst you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, okay? Known for want to sleep with uh, other men on, on women and be proud about it. And vice versa when it comes to these women. No, they have a, a husband at home, but want to sneak around, man. And they make songs and glorify that, man. But that's against the scriptures, man. Okay? And a lot of these, those situations come to the outcome of, of death or somebody being locked up, man. Okay? <clears throat> and it says, um, but whoso commit adultery with a woman lack understanding. And he that doeth it destroyeth his own soul. Okay? Uh, a wound, and like in this, this this case, man, that men, okay, that retaliate, okay? And it says, a wounded and dishonor shall he get, and his reproach shall not be wiped away. So ultimately, that, that was judgment on that, on that individual that took up with that woman, okay? Or the ex-husband or the, uh, uh, the ex-wife or the other uh, husband. Okay? And that's why you see things happening to individuals that commit adultery and the husband retaliate, man. Okay, like I say, and that's all spiritual and that's judgment. Okay, but the law of Leviticus chapter uh, 20 verse 10 is not upheld here in America. Okay? And it says, continuing on, um, verse 34, for jealousy is the rage of a man, therefore he will not spare in the day of vengeance. And you've seen that, you witnessed that in that article, man. He ain't spare, even to the point that not only he ain't spared a, that men life, but he took his own children lives and himself, man. Okay? Over, over the woman. Because she defiled uh, for divorce and it was granted un, un, unto her. Okay? Okay, and the scriptures also say that when it comes to a man, uh, uh, the, the glory of a man is, a, is his woman, okay? Because men really cherish women, okay? Because the Lord say, you know, he made a woman to be a helpmate, okay? Supposed to be a, a pillar, 
okay, to a man, a, a, a pillar of rest, a, 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 to be also up under her man, to, to help guide the, high, the household, okay, to help father the business of the, of the house, okay? But in this society, everything is uh, in confusion or out of order, okay, to lead to situations uh, uh, such as uh, in, in that article, man. Okay. So it says, for jealousy is the rage of a man, therefore he would not spare in the day of vengeance. He would not regard any ransom, neither will he resist content, though they give us many gifts. Yeah, because at that point, man, they didn't want to hear nothing, man. All they will see is red, man. All they want is blood. And that's the spirit that the Lord put on it on, on, on certain men that get in these situations, man. That's why our apostles and elders always uh, um, um, give us guidance, okay, when it comes to dealing with women, okay, and brother have women, okay, and the scripture says that, you know, in these times, those that have wives be like you have none, okay, because a lot of these women, man, you know, they are this world, man, okay, and the scriptures also say that, you know, it's good for a man not to deal with a woman at all. But like I said, brothers have women. And you're going to have women of the nation of Israel that's going to be part of the elect. But two-thirds of our women, right along with men, women, and children, is going to be judged, according to Zechariah chapter um, 13, verse 8. Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4 and 5. Okay? Because we're in the time of the Lord bringing vengeance on two-thirds of the nation of Israel. And only the elect is going to be delivered. And you're going to have women part of that election. Okay? <clears throat> but now in the time us that's in this faith, the, really the focus on this, the, on this truth, on this ministry, and on ourselves. Okay? And everything else outside of the truth really comes secondary. Okay? And mainly when it comes to you, 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 your woman and your children, the scripture says that, you know, uh, uh, of course you take care of them. But you don't put that first before you have Bashmi with Shai. Okay? Because through the men, uh, our household is going to be saved. Okay? Our family. When it comes to women and children. And those that's of that, that one third. Okay? But it's all about focusing on, 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 on the ministry and focusing on our salvation at this time. And that's when Yahweh Bashmi with Shai is going to justify us. Okay? And our, and our women. And, 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 you know, in our household, man. Okay, because we see the state of the average American women, especially when it comes to the, the, the black, Latino, Native American woman. And we see the state of a, as a whole of the Israelite family. Okay, as Esau Edom is ruling. But the Lord speak of these things happening here in the last days, man. Okay, how these spirits going to be uh, ramped up for judgment. Let me get this. And this show you that we're in a wicked society that don't uphold the ways of the law, statute, commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's why you're seeing so much confusion. Okay, matter of fact, let me get this real quick. This is Habakkuk chapter 1, verse 4. Therefore, the law is slack and judgment do if never go forth. And the law going into the law, statutes, commandments of the Bible that was given unto us, the Israelites, by the way of Moses, that covenant, okay? And now we justify by faith and under grace, but we keep the law, statutes, commandments to the best of our ability, okay? Because it's not a, a, a speedily, okay? You know, they, they, they're trying to take matters in our own hand and force the law, Okay? Is up the Yahweh Shai now to bring the judgment. And we just the, the the prophets to proclaim it. Okay, but here in America, although they say that the Bible, I mean America was founded on Christian values or on the Bible, the Bible is the law of the land, they don't up uphold and push what's written when it comes to the law, statute commandments in the Bible. Okay, that's why it says 
verse 4, Habakkuk chapter 1, verse 4, therefore the law is slack and judgment do never go forth. Okay, because Esau don't judge out of the scriptures, out of the laws. Now, there's certain laws he take, okay, to justify his system. But when it comes to the strictly, uh, the law, statute, commandments of the Bible, he doesn't uphold it. He's coming with his own laws, his own jurisdiction ways, man. Okay, his uh, penal codes. Okay. And it says, therefore, the law is slack and judgment do never go forth. For the wicked do compass about the righteous, therefore wrong judgment proceed. Yeah, because Esau Edom is the wicked, and it's being proved through the system. Okay? So although we the righteous, but we ain't captivity. Okay? So that's another reason why Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to return, or Yahweh Shai returning to set up the kingdom of righteousness, which is the kingdom of Israel by default. So that's it on that. But like I'm about to go into uh, Matthew chapter 24, you see due to all the wickedness that this place push and doesn't rely on the law, statutes, commandments, and that you saw Edom is the wicked that's really forcing it, pushing all this madness. And that's why things are, you know, more and more getting out of order, leading to the Lord bringing more destruction, man. This is Matthew chapter 24, verse 12. And because of iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Okay, and that word cold, when you go into the blue letter, cold in the Greek, uh, means psycho. Okay, another way of saying a, a psychopathic. And these people got those spirits on them, man. Okay, due to the affluence. Like I said, uh, 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 what, what, what's being pushed when it comes to wickedness. Okay, these people are all on all type of psychotic drugs. Okay. The, the lifestyle, okay? How women now is being more put on the pedestal to be more masculine, men being more feminine, okay? The, the, the road changes, man, leading to corruption and leading to Yahabah Shema Shai activating the, the demonic spirits on the left hand side on these people, man, okay? To prove that this place is a, a wicked kingdom and the judgment is set here. And how the Lord is visiting the earth, man. Okay, by using men to take each other out, man. Even when it comes to men taking out women, children. Okay, what type of society is that? But this show you why the Lord set up Esau Edom to be the wicked and to be an example of it, man. Okay. All type of wickedness going on here, man. Kids getting kidnapped. Okay. You know what come with that. Because you speak on it too much, man, they'll strike your video. Organ harvest. You know? All type of madness, man. Trafficking. So let me go ahead, because I'll get ready to close this video. But everything is the will of Yahweh by Shemiah was shot. That's why us that's in the faith that's coming back and knowledge in Yahweh about Shemiah was shy to the beginning of this uh, knowledge is to fear the Lord, man, because we know what the Lord is capable capable of, okay? Which most of these people in the world don't have the insight that this Yahweh about Shemiah was shy that's bringing these plagues, that the Lord bring judgment, man. Okay? Let me get, uh, matter of fact, I'm going to roll through the spirit. Let me get Psalms chapter 68. <clears throat> uh, uh, verse 20. Psalms chapter 68, verse 20. He that is our God is the God of salvation. And the only ones that's going to be contained to salvation and have the covenant of the Lord at this time is the elect. Okay, the hundred starting with the 144,000. 12,000 men out of each 12 tribes, okay, of the nation of Israel, and the rest of the remnant, which make up the one-third, okay, of Negro, Latino, and Native American descent of men, women, and children that's destined to be saved, okay? He that is our God is the God of salvation, and unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh the Lord belongeth the issues from death, 
Okay, so Yahweh Shema the God of the Bible, okay, also brings death, okay, not just life, but judgment as well. Oh, uh, let me get another one. So that 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 took place to the average person, it might seem harsh what happened, you know, uh the other night here in Sumter. Okay, that might seem harsh when we bring out Really, that was the act and the will of Yahweh Bashim Shah, the God of the Bible, on judgment on the individuals, man. Okay? But our people here in America, and uh, these people as a whole, when it comes to the God of the Bible, the God of the Bible, they're not being they're not being taught about the fear of the Lord and the terror of the Lord and the judgment of the Lord, man. And there's many more to come as we come into the end of America. Because ultimately, this place is going to be destroyed, man, by thermonuclear destruction. And that's going to be the will of the Lord. Um, let me get on. Um, what's that? Um, The one in Samuel, I think is in, no, Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter 32. Verse. Yeah, here we go. Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39. See now that I, even I am he. And there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So that's the uh, the power. Yahweh Shema was speaking. The power of the, uh, 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 Israel, man, and the Creator of all things, man. Okay. So nothing goes down when it comes to judgment without the Lord uh, granting it, man. Okay. And that's why we pray that we are exempt from the Lord's judgment, that we're part of that election, that hopeful elect. Um, and the Lord keep us covered, man. Let me get this. I'm going to go to the book of, of Ecclesiastes or the book of Sirach, chapter 39, verse 28. And it read, there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. So that individual that put those, you know, those those people to death in that situation, that's what the Lord, that was Yahweh Bashmal Shah will by putting the spirit of vengeance on them, man. Okay. There be there be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their their forces. And to please the wrath of him that made them, the Heavenly Father. Okay? Because Yahweh Bashem Shah made all things, man. Okay? So the Lord made that incident happen. Okay? And, and us that's in the faith, we understand that. So that's it on that. Let me get on. And once again, what was the, the lead of it? Okay? That, that, that woman. Let me get this. So judgment is ramping up, man. Ecclesiastes, or Ecclesiastes, chapter 7, verse 26. And it says, And I found more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets, okay, of mine. And the heart mean mine, lob, in the Hebrew, okay? And I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is snares and nets. Okay, hey, that individual, okay, that, you know, did that execution. And yeah, he was in a state of being bitter, okay, to the point that led to his death, okay, and those individuals, okay, due to the, 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 the act of the woman, okay, the problems that led up to that, okay, and ultimately, when she defiled, uh, defiled, she filed divorce and was granted. 
And you see the outcome of it, man. Okay? And it says, whose heart is snares and nets and her hands as bands. Okay, and in certain cases, we need women to file, uh, not to file, we need women file divorces. Their whole mind frame is to gain half of the man uh, uh, success when it comes to his uh, wealth or his income, which is alimony. Okay, a lot of these women do that. A lot of these women, they are married, uh, men that got certain income, they are divorce one, marry another one, get alimony from their first one, then from the second and third husband, they done divorce. Okay, put men or child support. Okay, and that's granted due to this wicked government, man. Okay, that support these women for they for their wickedness. So a lot of uh, uh, these women, my frame is to, to trap men, okay, and use the advantage of the government through the system. <clears throat> That's why the scripture says, raise up you women that are at ease. Isaiah chapter 32, verse 9. Because we come in the time the Lord bring great judgment, not only men, but women as well, okay, and, and, and children, man. Okay, we're about to see more and more of the terror of the Lord, man. That's why you have Bashim al Shah constantly got his prophets out there to give that warning of what's to come. Especially when it comes to you Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you Israelites. And it says, and it says, I find more bitter than death the woman whose heart is as snares and nets in her hands as bands. Whoso pleaseth Yahweh, Bashim al Shah, shall escape from her, but the sinner shall be taken by her. Okay, because like I made mention earlier, the Lord is going to set up the elect. Okay, start with the men. Okay, and that's the number that we pray that we part of. Okay, that hopeful elect. Okay, and you're going to have women that's going to be part of the one third as well. But they're going, to, but they're going to come up under the men. Okay, Un, under the graces of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, men, women, and children that's going to be part of the one third. Okay. But majority of our people, the two thirds, okay, a lot of them gonna be a lot of these men amongst the two thirds gonna be taken, okay, due to uh, women, okay, and these women being judged as well, man, okay. And like I say, in that in that 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 incident that took place, it doesn't give the ethnic uh the ethnic uh the ethnic or the the the, the race. Okay, uh, 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 of that, of that, of that, of those individual. Okay, but the Lord is bringing judgment as a whole on all these nations. Okay, let me see. Okay, but the elect is going to be delivered, and the elect women going to be delivered as well. But but two but two thirds of our people are going to be judged, and a lot of situations that I read about in that article is going to be taking place, man. Okay, amongst Israel, not only these other nations, but amongst Israel as well, man. As we come into more and more of this society breaking down, inflation, okay, the coming of famine, okay, pestilence, uproars of the people, civil unrest, poverty, okay. As we read in Matthew, the 24th chapter, verse 12, the love of many shall wax cold, okay. <laughs> Uh, so I'll go ahead and end the video here And I pray that the lesson is edifying To the ones that's out there listening And as always before I end off I'm going to give all praises unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kodash Double honors to the apostles And elders out of great Millstone that teach and rule Well today and salutation Also to the fellow laborers That's in the ministry and the believers that scattered worldwide, that's in the faith and exalt the names of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, and all truth and sincerity day in and day out. Until the next time, Lord willing, Shalom to the elect.